Oh, wow. Would you look at this? There's a whole new way to look over all of the updates every week. That's actually super useful, especially if you forget to check on the main website for Star Stable and see what kind of news has released every Wednesday. But I don't know about you guys. I'm usually right on top of it with the Twitter and checking the news page like as soon as the afternoon hits every Wednesday because there's usually some fun update secrets hidden in there, including the fact that Spirit is now in Star Stable, which I'm still sort of stunned about. It makes so much sense to have a crossover between one of the most popular horse movies ever and also, you know, Star Stable, which is one of the most popular horse-related MMORPGs ever, but I didn't see it coming, and I would love to know what you guys think about this. If you guys have already found Spirit, he is going to be wandering around the world as a wild Mustang, I believe. I really hope he's a Mustang, or else I'm going to have a lot of people be very, very, very upset at me, but he's wandering around, and we can actually befriend him if we go and find him. He'll turn up at new places every single hour. We will do quest with him, and if you do enough quest, you will gain reputation, enough reputation to grab an apple to feed to him and be able to convince him to move into your stable. And I was actually thinking that would be really fun for our wild pony from the beautiful island, Autumn Promise, to be able to have a friend who is also from Wild Roots. So this could be really cool. So he's going to show up every day between 8 to 9 p.m. So 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I wonder what on earth we're going to do to try to find him and how long he's going to be around. But yeah, welcome back to Star Stable, everybody. I'm back home. That means we have time to be able to play Star Stable for a little bit and uh, check out all of these new, oh my gosh, check out all of these new updates. This is really interesting. In Fort Pinta, you will find Tori and Sally. They have been fans of Spirit since they were little. They're selling clothes and gear with the Spirit theme. At their place, you can buy a special apple to give it to Spirit and make him stay with you as your horse. What's really cool about him is you also can't put any gear on him either. So this is going to be quite interesting to see. I would love to make it apple pie out of that apple, actually. That looks really delicious. And it does look like he will cost the star coins. So this is for star riders only as usual. You can buy the apple. You can't put equipment on him. Becoming friends with spirit. Wow, they're very thorough about this this week to make sure you know how to handle this. Reach reputation level admired with spirit by completing quests for him. Buy the apple, the mirror, uh, Miradero apple from Sally in Fort Pinta. Give the apple to Spirit. Spirit is now your horse and you can ride him. That would be kind of cool. So this is a sponsor of the like, collaboration event that they're doing which is pretty interesting. Oh there we go and we're free. So welcome back everyone. We are currently in Fir Grove with our beautiful Autumn Promise and Tiger Lily her kitten and we are getting ready to continue our quest for Miss Packard. I have no idea where Spirit the stallion happens to be out there in the world at the moment but perhaps we will run across him while we are going through our usual business of taking care of our horses and tackling those quests in Star Stable. So let's go ahead, talk to Miss Packard. I think we were delivering eggs, which as you guys know, definitely interests me since I love animals oh so much, uh, especially chickens, I should say. I really adore chickens. Uh -huh. My good friend Harold in Silverglade Village is an amazing baker, but he needs quality eggs. It's so great to be able to provide him with fresh eggs. I have packed the eggs so you can ride fast without breaking them. Can you help me? I will make sure your reward will be waiting for you at Harold's when you get there. All right, we can totally handle this, especially because I get a cute little cupcake top, which is not quite as good as the top I'm wearing, but it sounds really adorable. Plus, I need the shillings. If you guys recall, I recently spent a whole bunch of my shillings. I do believe we are still pretty broke. Okay, we're doing a little bit better because we've been doing more quests, but I really kind of went all out for Easter, bought pretty much everything that was available, and became very broke. And oh my gosh, Fur Grove is so beautiful! How do I manage to put up with not being here like every single day? This is amazing! Oh, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to jump over to Fort Pinta using some of those precious Yorvik shillings. And we are going to go see Harold, and while we are running over to Harold, we're also going to be dashing around looking for Spirit and participating, hopefully, in the Potato Festival! I was so touched by the fact that so many of you guys remembered last year, I missed the Potato Festival. Why did I come to Fort Pinta? Why did I come to Fort Pinta? On a promise. I have done a silly thing and we have just 
started. Gosh. All right. Back in we go. I meant Steve's farm. Why did I think Fort Pinta? That was just me being absolutely a silly Siri. Apologies, guys. I'm very excited about the potato festival, and that may confuse many of you who are new, but I love farming. And last year, there was the potato festivals to celebrate spring. And it happens really, really close to here on one of the farms. And I was away on an island. I was actually visiting the beautiful Bald Head Island in North Carolina with my beloved Chips and his family. Chips is my boyfriend of five years, in case you guys were wondering. We had a wonderful time. We made many, many awesome vlogs, uh, especially quite a few about some deer. Also, we're going to look around here really quickly just to see if Spirit is like lurking somewhere in this field because he can show up anywhere on the island uh, from hour to hour. But we were at Bald Head Island during the potato festival last year so I missed the whole thing and I was really really distressed about that because I was looking forward to it so much and it was just amazing to me how many of you fantastic people messaged me today letting me know not so much that spirit happens to be here in the world which I thought you guys would be like the most excited about but that the potato festival is currently happening. I was so touched. So touched and tickled. All right, let's do the bunny race really quickly with Landon, just to give our beautiful Autumn Promise a wee bit of experience. And I'm looking in those big open fields. If you guys have already found Spirit, then please, please, please let me and everybody else know where can you find him? Where are some good locations? Maybe it's like even more random than the Rainbow Quest. I mean, it does sound like you would have to go and search down this wild horse. And then trying to do quests for him. What kind of quests do you do? What kind of things can you buy? Is it mostly clothes to be able to celebrate the fact that he's here? All right, come on, Autumn Promise. I don't know what Autumn Promise and Tiger Lily think about trying to catch these bunnies. Oh, sweet. I caught another one. And another one. Good job, Autumn Promise. But we're going to do our best. All right, there's another one. Come here, you cute little fluff butt. Come here. Almost got it. All right, I need a few more. Autumn Promise doesn't quite have the finesse at doing this the way that Rose Stone does. But it's not her fault because Rose Stone has been with Thistledown for so long that I'm pretty sure that she has the edge when it comes to these adorable... Come here, bunny. Uh, ah, there we go. These adorable little bun buns. All right, come on. Come on. Fun fact. A bunny is not a rodent. How many of you guys know which family a bunny belongs to? That may sound ridiculous, but I actually know someone who got a job working at the same pet store I did because she knew the family name for bunnies, and it's not a rodent. There we go. All right. We caught a bunch of rabbits. Didn't see spirit, but doing something wild like that seemed like a good idea. And we built up our reputation with Silverglade Village while we're at it. Let's see. Oh, there goes one of the bunnies. I was really excited and like, is that spirit? All right, we'll have to keep our eyes out. I'm gonna have to rely on you guys for hints and tips and advice on where to find him. But until then, we're going to go and enjoy the potato festival. Again, blown away and super touched by how many of you messaged me, letting me know, hey, the potato festival is happening. I know you don't wanna miss it again this year, Siri. And it was just the sweetest thing. Oh, and there's somebody down here, interesting. Interesting indeed. There's a lot of people running around. Could it be because of the potato festival? I'm pretty sure Marley is the one who runs the festival. So let's wiggle over here. <gasps> is this the spudtastic event? Are we having the potato festival, Marley? I am so excited. Are those the spuds? I think those are the potatoes. Marley, tell me all about it. Howdy, Saga. You're here to take part in the traditional potato planting, just like everyone else, right? It's more and more popular every year. Whoa there, cowboy. You don't know what I'm talking about? The potato planting tradition is something we do to celebrate the fact that the frost has finally gone from the ground and that warmer times are on their way. Marley, you and I can definitely bond over that. I love when spring arrives. You guys know how much I adore spring and the greenery and being able to sink my hands into the soil and plant things. Oh, that really just fills up something special in my soul. So let's bond over these potatoes, Marley. Now we can finally grow things in the ground again. Huh, he and I are two souls in the same pea pod. 
We celebrate by digging up the potatoes from the potato patch that have managed to survive the winter. I don't know how they make it, though, but there's something special about the earth here on Yorvik. Sometimes it makes the potatoes super big and able to withstand the cold. Those spuds that make it through the winter are incredibly delicious and are something of a delicacy around these parts. Fun fact, I could actually bore your guys' ears off by talking to you about some of the things that you can do with um, cabbages and potatoes that are left over winter and how delicious they are and the different rates they metabolize, like they metabolize sugars. Very excited about that. There's my geeky side showing through. Also, this is a beautiful dress. I wonder where she got that dress. Do you guys know where she got that dress? That's beautiful. Okay. Focus, Siri. A little too excited about the potatoes. After that, we plant the new potatoes in a riding competition where the most daring local riders compete. If I know you, it sounds like something you'd like to have a go at. But for now, ride out to the potato patch and dig up a huge potato. Then I'll teach you how to make the best baked potato. Giddy up, Saga. All right, let's do this. We're gonna ride out to the potato patch. I am going to dun 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 dig up a potato the biggest the best potato when he says big potato is it like gonna be the size of autumn promise because that would be <gasps> look at these potatoes oh my goodness it's a spudtastic day very very happy about this autumn promise is like rolling her eyes at me it's okay autumn promise i don't expect you to understand how amazing these potatoes are ew it was rotten okay that was not what i was expecting let's keep looking then Ew, also rotten. Curse you, winter. Also rotten. <laughs> wow, they're really not doing very good. Marley. Oh, wait. Did I get one? <gasps> I got a chili spud. Okay. So we now have a giant potato. A really big potato. That is our quest item. A really big potato. That's hilarious. All right. This is fantastic. I'm actually finally, I've waited a year to do this. I know that's blowing some of your minds, but it's true. Oh my gosh, <gasps> the best spots. The best spots, look at those spots. Oh, one day we'll have more spotty horses. All right. Wow, Saga, look at the size of that potato. All right, what do you think about it, Marley? Hunt for the herbs. Wow, Saga, what a find. This potato is gonna be perfect. Now let's see, this potato needs to be baked, but we need other ingredients if it's gonna be the perfect baked potato. All we're missing now is some silver glade sage and some traditionally churned butter. Make a start by grabbing me a bunch of silver glade sage. You find it around the birch trees by the stables. All right, on it, on it, on it. Hopefully that's pretty close. Stables right over here, mm -hmm. birch tree right over here. All right, oh, there it is. Wow, that was pretty easy. Hopefully the, like, freshly churned milk isn't going to be too much. All right, let's run this way. Man, that's a beautiful pink dress. I kind of want to wear something special for the potato event. In fact, I should have dressed up for the potato event. What are you guys doing? Letting me out of my own barn, my, my little my barn, without, like, doing that. <gasps> Look at the size of that potato. Is that the potato that I got? Oh, my gosh. Those are some fine-looking herbs. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. Marley! Marley! Is this the potato that I got? Look, when you said it was a mighty fine looking spud, I didn't realize you meant like it's the size of my horse. This is this is a this is more than a mighty fine looking spud. This is spudtacular, if you ask me. All right, so let's go ahead and see Marley. Marley, I'm stuck. Marley, I'm I'm tripping over potatoes. All right, don't mind me, Marley. There's people there's people arriving, and I'm just gonna casually back up a little bit. There we go, and a trip to Silverglade. Now we just need some butter. Then we can make the perfect old country style baked potato. You can fetch the butter, you say? Great. Right up to Derek at the Silverglade post office. She, he should have a nice pack of newly churned butter for me. I wonder where he gets it from. All right, so let's go take care of that. There's the herbs I think that we gathered up. Some freshly picked sage, which I have never tried putting on a potato actually. Uh, in fact, I haven't had sage the herb for a very long time, which is ironic for those of you who know my secret identity. Dun dun dun. But yeah, I haven't actually had sage on a potato before. Usually I just enjoy a ton of fresh chopped chives and some vegan butter, but it's been a long time since I've had a baked potato now that I think about it. All right, so let's ride down here. I can, however, grow a mighty fine potato. All right, and Derek? Hey, Saga, are you here to send something or pick something up? I sure am. Welcome back, Saga, how have you been? Yeah, absolutely, I've got a package for Marley. Here you go, say hi to him for me. All right, totally on this, and then what's going on over here? 
I spy with my little eye. Harold! Harold! I have your eggs, Harold! Thank goodness. Saga, great to see you again. I heard you're bringing me some fine eggs. Thanks so much. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's a reward from Miss Packard. She asked me to give this to you. Have a nice day. Yay! All right, thank you, Harold. Two for one, we completed that quest. Nice. Oh, look at everybody. Everybody's horses are so beautiful, and you are beautiful too. Uh, Autumn Promise. Oh my gosh, I love how her legs move because she's so short when she runs. I do need to take good care of her when we hit one of the stables again soon, but I think she's just as excited as I am about this potato event. So let's run down. We're going to make the mighty fine baked potato, which is, again, you know, maybe some people would question being so excited about these things, but it's good to be excited about life, if you ask me. All right, we're going to slow down and look at all these potatoes. I just, I can't get over this. Marley, they're beautiful. They're just fantastic. I absolutely adore them. Autumn Promise, what do you think? I think she enjoys them as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at that potato. Hello, hello lovely dress person. Did you also get that potato dress? I really should have dressed for this event now that I think about it. All right, what's this? Oh, hey, this works. This works. I look a little bit more like potatoey, and there's some butter. All right, um, right, let's do. Oh, this is perfect, Saga. This butter is the best you can get. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, baked potato. Oh, I can't, I can't bake the potato while I'm on a horse. All right, hang in there, Autumn Promise. I don't know if horses can eat potatoes, so I don't know if I can share any with her or Tiger Lily, but we'll have to see. So, you reckon you're ready to prepare a perfect potato? My family has had this traditional recipe for generations, and now it's your turn to learn how to do it. You think it's gonna be easy, you say? Hmm, it looks easier than it is, Saga. But be sure to follow my instructions carefully, and we'll have a spud so tasty, you'll be saying thank you, baked potato. <laughs> let's go. All right, so let's do this. Oh dear, okay. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. Wait, what am I doing? <gasps> what am I doing? Everybody out of my way. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Turn the oven on so it heats up. Okay, on it, on it. Uh, pick up the potato you harvested. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I'm on it. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Look at this glorious thing. Okay, put the potato in the oven. Okay, watch out, guys. So many people. Okay, a gigantic potato. I love this potato. Okay, good. Uh, okay, gotta get the herbs. Got it. Mix together the herbs and butter. Where? Over here. Okay, I can't see. Alright, there we go. Take the big potato out of the oven. Careful, it's hot. Alright, got it. And then... Big potato, herbs, big potato, herbs, big potato, herbs. Huh, is that all? You know, Marley, I'm beginning to think that's actually mostly butter and baked potato. Oh, here it is. This baked potato is so tasty that you could say, baked potato changed my life. Baked potato showed me the way. <gasps> Do I get to keep it forever, Marley? All right, thank you, baked potato. Woohoo, Zaga, this smells incredibly good. I don't want to be a potato watcher. I want to be a potato eater. Let me try your baked potato. Nom 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 nom. Chomp chomp chomp. Yeehaw! That was one of the best baked potatoes I've ever eaten. That sure brings back memories from when I was just a boy. My old grandma used to make potatoes just like this with me when I was knee high to a grasshopper. Wow, the flavor is exactly the same. Those are some good memories. Yay, I did it! Time for the traditional potato planting. All right, Saga, now that you've learned how to take care of the potatoes that made it through the winter, all we've got left is the final step in our traditional potato celebrations. Time to plant the new potatoes. Ride over to LV and she'll go through it all with you. You like your riding to be a little wild and crazy, huh? We fancied up some regular potato planting so that it could be a little more exciting. Be sure to grab the potatoes that are right here next to me before you ride off. Good luck, Saga. All right, so grab the box of potatoes, which are sitting on the barrel, then ride over to LV and figure out how to take part in the potato planting race. Nice, this is gonna be fun. Okay, all right, bucket, potatoes. Ah, there they are. All right, so let's get up on top of Autumn Promise. We're gonna grab these potatoes. Oh my goodness. Oh golly gosh, this is awesome. And then we're going to ride on over to LV. And we're gonna engage in a little bit of potato planting. Look at those potatoes. Autumn Promise is really good at transporting produce and eggs and things like that. She's a very delicate, dainty rider. Or I should say, 
Well, trotter? Horse, basically? All right, what do you think, Autumn Promise? I am not sure what I think about you having a bunch of potatoes on your rump either, but it's working out pretty well. Elvi? Don't be shy, come take part in the festivities. You're here for the annual potato planting race. Yep, sure am. Hey there, stranger. My name's Elvi, and I guess I do a little bit of everything here at Marley's Farm. I make sure the horses are filled and looked after, and that the yard is always clean and tidy. You've been to see Marley, you say? Good, then you know how important it is to us to hold on to our traditions and celebrate the thawing of the frost. We've been waiting all winter for the day to come when we're able to use the soil again. I'm always so delighted every year when it's time for our potato party. Springtime really puts it in your step. <laughs> We've come up with a race where we plant potatoes in the ground to celebrate the frost disappearing. I understand you want to compete against others, but we're going to have a little test run first so that you definitely know what's what. The race is basically a run out into the potato patch where you'll have to plant as many potatoes as you can all of, on all the indicated spots. Then you just hurry back to me uh, here by the finish line and the first one to do so is the winner. There's a whole heap of prestige to be won by being crowned the winner of this race. Saddle up and ride like the wind. Oh my goodness. And you get the potato planting sweater. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're doing this. We're doing this. This is so exciting. Okay, I think you just have to like run. Is this, what is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. All right, let's go. Come on, Autumn Promise. I don't know how we, do I, do I like, am I planting the potatoes? Am I, am I doing it? I can't tell. Okay, I think that the indicators are actually the potatoes I have left to plant. All right, let's do this. There's a couple more over here. Two more potatoes left to plant. Oh my gosh, this is this is a wild potato ride. Did not expect a wild potato ride. No wonder everybody was zipping all around. All right, come on, Autumn Promise. Now we've got to turn all around. Oh, you're such a good jumper, even though I've hardly leveled you. Oh, she tries her best. There's four minutes left. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Good job. All the potatoes are planted. Good job, Autumn. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Look at this. This is awesome. Woohoo! Nice riding. You're going to be a tough competitor for the other riders to beat. Go up to the notice board here by me and sign yourself and your friends up for a race. Good luck, Saga. I've got faith in you. Oh my gosh. What a day. What a way to race for potatoes. That's pretty awesome. So then if you have your friends, you could actually sign up for the potato race. And you can start a high score race. Uh, you can compete in this race to get a better score. You won't earn any reward like course HP, reputation, or money. But you... Doo -doo -doo -doo, there's no time limit. So that's just for fun. Just for fun. There's no rewards or anything. But wow. Alright guys. I have to say... Having participated in the um the little potato race event, I'm I'm pretty darn happy right now, and I'm I'm willing to run over here and just kind of see what's what. It looks like there's another. I think that that's just Marley telling me that he's got some family business he wants us to take care of. But I think we've done it. We have now raced about and we have tended to all of the potatoes. I don't think that Marley has anything else for us to work on at the moment beyond helping him with his family cook problem. Yep, that's all he has. But uh, there we go. I now officially have participated in the potato festival. And I can say that that is something I have not missed this year. I truly don't feel like, um, I truly don't feel like this was a waste of my time. I learned how to make some pretty spectacular spuds, so I am pretty happy. That was a fun little event to have. It reminds me a lot of the small town festivals that you can often run into. Also, these are beautiful sporty horses. <gasps> Look at you. Oh my gosh. We'll have to think about adding more horses to the family as time goes on. But for now, we are going to continue on with all of the various quests we have out and about in the world, tending to things in Silverglade, especially over in Yarlaheem, trying to slowly but surely steadily push and prod all of the quests forward so eventually we can hit the level 15 experience that rumor has it we need in order to get to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, which for some reason I occasionally call the Valley of the Hidden Dragon. No idea why. Just sounds fun, I guess. All right. So I will see you guys next time. And if you have any hints, tips, or advice on where to search for spirit, then do let me know. Because I think a lot of you guys would be very excited if we were able to find him. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.